Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Young's Live Tape channel. If you are new to my channel, please do remember to click the button, subscribe to my channel, then you will not miss any new videos. In the United Kingdom, very often, you will have a, a boiler at your home. Like me, I have a conveyor boiler installed in my garage. What's the use of this boiler? This boiler will provide consistent hot water 24 hours per day and 7 days per week to my kitchen and to my bathroom. But in the winter, more importantly, this boiler will provide hot water to my central heating system, to my radiator, to all my house. Right now it's autumn. It is very important that you check your boiler and make sure it will work through the winter. Very often, first things you need to check is the water pressure. The water pressure normally will be maintained in the green area up to the red zone. So which means the water pressure is in the normal pressure range. However, very often you will find the water pressure drop, sometimes even drop below to the zero. What's happened with that? You may have some problems. One problem is you may have water leaking in your central heating system, which means the water went to somewhere. For that reason, what you can do, you can just use the button below. You can top up the water into your system. After top up the water, then you will say, this meter will go up which means you have a normal water pressure if that is okay it's maintained it's working you're fine but however sometime after you top up the water a few hours later this meter will drop down again but what that mean which means you may have a consistent leaking you have to repair the leaking first or you may have a sensor problem inside this boiler or you may have a leaking inside the expansion tank today i will just show you how i do the diagnosis where my problem is how i can temporarily repair these problems so that i have the hot water temporarily until i find a proper gas engineer to come to repair my boiler. So normally what do you do? You will have a tweezer. There is a screw underneath. You just remove this screw which will allow you to open the front panel of this boiler. Because you have electric uh, uh, inside, make sure you switch off the power here it's safe for you to check your system. On the top left, you have the primary heat exchange here. So this black pipe is the air intake system. And the rod plate in the middle is the gas burner. Here, you can see a small window here. This is the gas ignition electrode. On the right hand side here, the black one is the fan. So this, again, this is the front panel, which show you the heating meters, monitors, the water pressure meters. And more important today, I want to show you is one of these things on the right hand side. This one is the expansion tank we are going to look at today. Because this is a very big expansion tank. So technically, this is the mechanism this boiler will control the pressure of the central heating system. For example, when the boiler is working and when your central heating is work, so the hot water inside the central heating uh, will be heating up, up to about 60 degrees. When the water became heated, then the, the, the value of the water will increase. Then the, temp the pressure will increase how this boiler maintain the pressure do not go to too far is there is a expansion tank here you have air inside 
So when the pressure increases, they compress the air. So maintain the pressure, not go to too high. But uh, if this expansion tank has leaking, then the air will go into your central heating system. They are no longer to be used for expansion. They push the water outside your system. Then later on, when your uh, boiler and central heating is cooling down, the water value is reduced. Then the pressure will drop. This will happen and happen again until the water pressure is below the zero. Then your boiler will not work. If we look at the expansion tank on the right hand side, um, can you see we have a small valve here? Um, what do you do? You just remove the cap of this valve. Here it looks like exactly like the valve on your tire of your bicycle of your car tire. Uh, what I will do, I will have a, a pump here. Just put this on and uh, double check, make sure the electric is switched off from the wall socket. What do you do? You can see here I got a zero water pressure here. I will put this on. So after the connect this, what do you do? You try pump the air into this expansion tank. We will see the pressure meter going up. When you pump the air, because the air is light, air will go to the top of the expansion tank, push the water down, and push the water get back to your central heating system. Can you see the meter now, right now is moved to the uh, green area? Right now you can see the water pressure meter, uh, the indicator is in the middle and up middle of the green zone, which means the pressure right now is okay. You don't need to top up the water, because uh, maybe your central heating system, the water is good enough, only the air escaped. So once you do this, this should be okay. However, do not make the meter to the red range because that's too high to the boiler and you do not uh, make the meter is too close to the red range because right now my central heating is off when the central heating is on water temperature go up if your pressure here is too high they will try pump the water outside your system go to the outside so which means I would uh, uh, expect the pressure is uh, on the top two-third range. I just top up a little more. Right now you see um, the pressure start a little bit of drop so I will try to top up more air. Okay about the two-third the pressure. What I will do I will remove this pump and switch on the central heating boiler I will have a look if the pressure can maintain or not. If the pressure can maintain over a few days, which means this should be okay temporarily to make sure your central heating system is still working until you can find the engineering to come, maybe to replace the expansion tank. Um, uh, however, if this pressure keep dropping again, which means the leaking inside is too high, you will not have room for your air, so which means you have to replace the tank as soon as possible. If you are lucky, the leaking is lower part of the expansion tank. So by you doing this, 
you are you may be able to use quite a long time before you actually have to replace the expansion tank. For top of the water, what you can do, I have two valve underneath. So first switch on one of the valve, then switch another valve. So you will hear a noise, the water start get into the central heating system, you will see the water pressure go up. Switch off the valve to make sure this meter still in the green zone, do not go too high or too low. Okay. I will just remove this. You can see this is a very handy uh, technique. Right now we are not in the lockdown, however we are still in the COVID-19 um, period, which means you really do not know who have the virus. So basically you do not want to ask an engineer to come to your home to check the boiler, then he may bring the virus to your family, which is dangerous. So if you can use this method to check where the problem is, or if you are lucky, you can pump the air, top up some water, make your boiler work again, so you are able to wait for a few days or months before you get other people to come to your home to check your boiler. But at the end of the day, you will need to do the annual safety check because the safety it's very important for you and for your family. Do not do a DIY for the gas yourself. Make sure the safety is very important. However, for temporarily, you can make some diagnosis and repairs. Make sure the small things will not affect you to use your hot water and to use your central heating system. So after top of the water, when the heater is on, then you can check the meter. The meter, the water pressure is too high, so which means I need uh, to um, uh, get rid of some water from the central heating system until this meter come to the green zone. Right now the radiator on. I have a get out of some water. Right now you can see when the radiator is on, this is on the green zone. If you like my video, please sum up and please also subscribe to my channel. You will not miss any future new videos. Thank you very much.